Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, unlike my other videos, I am planning to make something sweet, which is actually very uncommon for me because I don't do sweet dishes. I don't like eating sweet things except for the occasional ice cream. I don't actually like sweet dishes. I don't actually like sweet dishes. <laughs> So I am going to attempt and this is my first time making it so this is my attempt of making ghevar. So the reason why I am making ghevar is uh, today is the August 10th so August 15th is Rakhi and ghevar is supposed to be one of the most popular Rakhi um, you know sweet dish. So come on let's get started let's try and make ghevar. So this is I think um, this is one of the honeycomb sweet dish of India. So you can see how it's made. I accept the fact that it is really complicated and if you don't have the mood and the patience to make it, I suggest please go to a nearby store and buy it. But trust me, when you cook it yourself, you put in so much of your labor, so much of your labor that at the end you'll end up being very hungry and everything tastes good. Voila! Let's get started guys! There you go, I'm taking a clean silver bowl because I think that's the most convenient thing to use. And then I'm adding half a cup of butter or okay. ghee. I just it this way. I'm just going to keep mixing it. As you can see, it instantly solidifies and becomes into this greasy texture. So once you've attained this, you just need to keep mixing it. So once you realize it's melting again, so you want to add the ice back in and then again start doing the same thing. I'm adding 4 cups of all-purpose flour and you just want to mix it, you don't want to knead it. Okay, so you just want the butter to be evenly mixed with the a cup of chilled milk. Remember, everything that you're using needs to be really chilled. So you can see it coming together now, slowly chilled water. You just want to keep on mixing that. So I've made it pretty small, but this is very thick. This is like a very thick consistency which I do not want. So I'm adding I'm going to add a little milk and a little water simultaneously until I get the smooth consistency that I want, the very light consistency that I'm looking for. I'm just going to squeeze a small piece of lemon that I've got. So since the lemon, this lemon is very juicy, I'm just using a very small amount. Now your batter is ready and you want to chill this before you want you want to start using it because now you've got to heat your oil so that's going to take time. So at no cost you should let this mm, chilled mixture cool down, means heat up. So I'm adding oil but that's not my preference. I like to mix almost half an hour of oil. But you may as well just add in a little bit more flavor to the cheese. So if you know the concept of tempura in Japanese cuisine, that's what you're trying to do. You're keeping the uh, batter to a very uh, cool temperature. So when you're adding drop by drop, then it blurs out directly. So you're going to have these tiny, tiny, tiny crumbles which are going to form on the outer rim of the pan. Generally, ghevar is made, out of, made in a mold. sharp knife just to keep it sticking it's genuinely ghee and oil so it's not going to stick you don't have to worry about it a cup of sugar
we just need to wait and let it boil. And this is getting a little bit of cardamom powder. Okay, I'm taking a little bit of this hot chashmi. Now I'm going to taste it. This is known as egg tar ki chashmi. Single strand sugar syrup is translated literally. This is the fried table. Likewise, I'm going to do the same to all of my gavers, just pour over the sugar syrup. And now you can decorate it with whatever you want. So I'm going to add nuts. Rose petals. And I'm just going to pour a little bit of chashni on top, just so that you know the nuts don't fall away. I just want the nuts to stick well. So there you go guys, my ghewar is all ready. Start heating the pan. I'm just going to add a little bit. I'm adding a liter of milk and that's enough for me. I think I'm just going to use a ladle along with my brown sugar. I'm just adding it. One ladle of brown sugar and two ladle of normal regular sugar. That's the consistency I go with. See, as you stir, you can actually see there's a little bit of color in your milk. So when you are having your rubbery, your rubbery won't turn out to be very white. Now you want to boil this really well and reduce almost three fourths. Generally, when you're making rubbery, it's always um, advised to make in uh, high fat content milk. You can make with a lower fat content milk also, but then you'll get very little amount of rubbery and it's not as flavorful. If you can see, these are the tiny bits that you need to scrape off. So, this is a little it's a daunting task for everyone khatro ka khilari part 2 inside the kitchen so you have to keep doing that i take i genuinely take a knife just to scrape off see if you can see what this is because if you can if you can see there's a lot of chunks inside this so that is what you're trying to achieve so there you go guys, the rubbery is all cool. Just a little bit of cardamom powder. And now let's do the final plating. But in the same toppings that I added before, generous helping of nuts. So that's almonds. Usually they put pista, but since I don't have, I'm going to make do with some pumpkin seeds, which is also a great alternative. <laughs> and then a little bit of rose petals. There you go guys. Your lovely ghevar is ready to be served.